everybody what's going on welcome back to filling the void we've got a potentially big day on the account and a little bit of catching up to talk about so as you see we've got one void shard here uh the referrals all came through big shout out to these guys <laughs> finally done it uh for for knocking this out for us what i was what i miscalculated was uh for some reason i thought after that i think in my head because this was such a milestone i thought after that these would open up but these don't open up till till the others hit 50. And 50 is such a different long grind. I don't know if I, I don't, I can't expect anybody to grind an account to level 50 uh, for us to get some void shards. And I don't reckon I have the time to do it. Maybe when we get moved and settled, I'll do it slowly over time. Uh, maybe I'll get the login info for these accounts from these guys if they're not going to play them and just slowly take them to 50 so we can get an extra void shard here and there. But it's not something I can really, you know, give a whole bunch of time to because I'm already playing technically three accounts right now so um we're 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 pretty okay with what we've got here and then like i said later if we want to try to get those we'll we'll cross that bridge later uh, let's grab our login rewards real quick we got some energy which is nice we've got uh ooh, that's great actually that's that's gonna be great and then we're getting our two-star soul for her tomorrow and then then the adeline chase begins none of this applies to us however there are six star legendary accessories we can get from that i don't remember what's in the first round of it but there's pretty good stuff we can get so we will try to keep up with the adeline chase let's um talk about what we've done and what we're doing today so we did clear stage eight of fire knight and we did clear stage 10 of spirit keep and i believe force keep is open today so if we can get through stage 10 we'll have two void charts to pop today uh which could be big It'd be real big for us. Uh, Pantera, Panthera, I keep calling her Pantera. Uh, Panthera. Just got a new weapon. So let's get that leveled up to 12 real quick. <clears throat> you see, we put her on retail. That did make a difference in Fire Knight. She's still not in an ideal setup, but we did rearrange her gear a little bit and actually get it up to 12. She's not wearing a bunch of three-star gear anymore, a bunch of pointless three-star gear. So um, that's nice. And this is a pretty good piece all around for her. These are all good stats for her. So, um, man, I can't wait to get to level 40. <laughs> I really think this should be a level 30 thing, not a level 40 thing, but um, they didn't ask me what I think. So <laughs> uh, we'll get through this. Everybody... Tree Shield is going ham. We'll take a look at him in a second as well. I did I did start the mastery grind a little bit just to get a couple of upgrades to his heal. Uh, come on, come on, don't make me sit here all day. Come on, we have stuff to do and talk about. There we go. Um, so this is her new setup. We got her in some 12 star speed boots. I went hybrid on her because I do need her to be able to take a little bit of a hit. Uh, her, her multi hits and debuffs are more important to me than her damage. She doesn't have enough accuracy. However, with masteries, she is still landing her debuffs pretty reliably right now. So it works for now. But this is her setup. Uh, he's not changed much. I actually need to get his stuff to 12. And then Tree Shield's looking like this. I wish it would stop giving me red dots for stuff I don't have. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me a red dot for him if he doesn't have a piece he can wear there. Anyway, he's gotten up to 50. We've been pushing through three starring hard campaign and really showing no signs of slowing down. We're up to um, stage 10 and he we're, we're just cruising through it. It's, it's not been a problem at all yet. So we'll see when we hit our first wall there. Yeah, so let me jump in real quick, quick and make sure there's no, no easy fights here in 3v3. Hmm, that's a lot of red stars. What level is this account? I feel like there's some cheeky gear on that. I think we might jump in there and get soloed. I think we might jump in there and get soloed. Let's let's take our heaviest hitters here. Uh, I don't think this is going to go well, but I feel like we should try it.
Maybe I'm wrong. Level 100 and Red Stars on him. It just feels cheeky. You know what I mean? It, feel, it feels like a trap for players in my position right now, but so far, so good. What's he... Does he have any attacks? All right, GG. And then I saw down here... We can kill Hikatoon, surely, right? We'll take our strongest champs here. Geo's up there. She could still kill them. But let's see. Let's see if we can get get some wins here too. Krisk is a dangerous one, even, even in that state. Is he on Relentless or just drastically faster than I am? Extra turns. Does he get an extra... Is that part of his kit to get an extra turn when he does that? Or is he just... Is he on Relentless and it's proccing through the goddamn roof? I think it's just proccing through the roof. All right. That's annoying. That was like an 85% proc rate on his Relentless there, it looked like. Come on, guys. Y'all can, can do this. Y'all can do this. Come on. All right. And then hopefully they can kill Katoon. But it's possible that they won't. She's going to run laps around us. And he just flushes turns down the toilet, dude. Hate that. All right, yeah, they can't do it. They can't kill Katoon. That's aggravating. He's not going to do it. I'm not going to sit here and watch this. This is going to piss me off, dude. He just flushes turns down the toilet with that A2. I, I wish I could disable it everywhere without having to make a comp for it. You know what I mean? We could try to redo it and get a win. I don't think I care that much right now. Tag team, that's going to be such a grind. This is going to be such a grind. We've almost got our first frags, though. So we'll see. We'll see what we can pull off there. Um, let's jump in to force keep and see if we can't get a stage 10 clear. I would think we'd be able to. We cleared the others. I reckon this will be the squad that we do it with. So let's let's try this and then we'll hopefully have two void shards to pop today. And I don't know, maybe pull our first epic. And when I say pull our first epic, obviously we have two epics, but you know what I mean. I mean pull our first epic. So this is stage nine. So I need this to I need this to not look difficult. I need I need I need to be optimistic for potentially clearing stage ten. The good news is he's got heals and he's got a revive and he's pretty tanky. I think he can take punishment here. I think it's gonna be kind of hard to get him out of here. This is what we're looking for. This is what we want it to look like. Easy work. Easy work so we can get to 10 and get that second void shard. Don't know if I mentioned it, but our gem mine is maxed now. So uh, we, don't, we never have to think about it again. And it just sits there and makes, makes profit for us now. So that's nice. That's nice to have behind us. Oh, the attack down sucks. You know what, guys? Oh, she was re she was re retaliating. That's fine. All right, so now we just need you to throw up a defense down. The slow is nice. Defense down is nice. Let's put in work now. This month. Okay, easy work. I think we're good. I think we should be fine. All 
All right. Earn me that void, guys. Come on. So, yeah, hopefully. I mean, I'm really... Even if... It, I just hope it's some AoE. That's really all I can ask for at this point. We've got a support that's putting in plenty of work for us. We could really, really, really use some AoE. And I don't even think I'm, I'm particularly picky about who. As long as it's some AoE with a reasonable cooldown, you know what I mean? Like, not, not a five-turn AoE, but like... An, AO, an, an actual AoE hitter, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we should get through this fairly unscathed. And I am going to target the minions when we get near, because again, Obero likes to get near and fuck around. You idiot! You're, you're such an idiot, dude. I hate you. God. He can't wait. That dude can't wait to defense buff himself. No attack down on Obero, that's nice. I don't think I've ever seen her knock back a turn meter. Although maybe she is and it's just not visible because it's 3%. Obero out here with the high resistance build. Come on, get that defense down. What you doing? Get that defense down. It still looks like we're safe. I don't think he can outdamage Tree Shield's heals. So I think we're fine. It might take a minute, but. Please. <laughs> Please fuck the defense down, dude. <laughs> You're killing me. There it is. Now we're home free. All right, two voids. Our biggest summon session yet, I think. Uh, I, I was initially talking about holding on to my voids too for uh, a 2x, but it seems like the next two, I think we just had one. So it's my, it might be a while before we get another 2x. And again, I would I would rather just potentially expand the roster. We don't even need a 2x to to have some incredibly valuable pulls. You know what I mean? There are, there are still plenty of rares we could pull that would be fantastic for the account. So we don't even really need a 2x right now. Nice. 30,000 HP with any champion. I think, I feel like Tree Shield's gotta be close, right? 24-7? I mean, with some accessories, I bet I could get him there. Maybe we have to jump in Spider soon. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Our biggest summon session on the account. What do we got? What do we got? Oh no, not another dupe. Oh no, not another dupe already. Holy shit, bro. Another dupe already. Oh. oh. We need this second one to come in clutch then. Mm, I almost want to give it a second to just let it, let it figure its life out. Oh man, okay, okay. So wait. So wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five void shards. 
We've summoned five void, void shards. Oh my God. And we've already got two dupes. Oh, oh six, six void shards. Mm. All right, we, we said we were gonna be on cooldown for a second for the tree shield pull. So I think now we've paid our taxes. I think I think pulling another dupe so soon, I think we, we've paid our taxes. We, we should be back at a zero balance now and hopefully do something else from the pool that we don't already have for crying out loud. That's insanity, bro. All right, reset, reset. Give me something good. Make that worth it. Make that worth it. Ash Walker. I think that's pretty good, actually. Let me look at him again. I think Ash, Walk Ash Walker's dope. If you kill someone with the A1, he resets the cooldown of Devastator. Attacks one enemy, has a chance of placing a stun. Decreases turn meter of all enemies if he crits. And the chance to land the stun goes up pretty significantly, it looks like. 20%, so that's an 85% chance. Okay. AoE with a chance of placing a weaken. Down to a three turn. And a speed in all battles lead. All right, I think Ashwalker might be a fun pull. I think that might be a dope pull. It does technically give us a little AoE. It does give us some AoE. He's got a pretty, what, what I imagine is going to be a pretty reliable stun on the A2. And some AoE with a speed lead, which I don't think we have. We only have it in Faction Wars right now. So now we have a, a, an all battle speed lead, which is gonna be very, uh, yeah, all right, all right. I think I'm stoked about this. I think I'm stoked about this. I feel like I've heard really good things about him too, but I've never built him because all the accounts I've played on, I've never needed to. But I'm, I'm glad to finally like, this is what this is the type of stuff I wanted. I wanted an excuse to put this guy to work because I've heard good stuff about him. So. What do I need, arcane potions? It's gotta be arcane. No, it's void, okay. Um, see, that's unfortunate. You know what I think I gotta do? I think I have to do that. Not the most efficient, but I gotta get him to three. I gotta, I gotta get his ascension bonus at the very least. How are we doing on rare books? We got 15 rare books. He needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. God damn, bro. That's so many books. That's so many books. That's way too many books, dude. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to get him into rotation. I reckon. I reckon he'll be my next five star, actually. Because. Of this. And then champion challenge. I don't know what comes next. It, it seems like it would be a legendary book. Here. I'm playing it. Be giving me notifi notification for the game while it's open and I'm playing it, bro. <laughs> Leave me alone. 30,000 HP with any champ. And then now it's 13. I don't care about a sacred, though. A sacred does nothing for me. And then arena again. All this stuff will happen. This is such a pain in my ass, dude. So annoying. Where are we at in here? Oh yeah, I need I need to knock this out today. All right, so we can knock this out today, and then I'm gonna be hung up on void again. So, uh, okay. All right, yeah, I'm 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 into that. I think that's a pretty fun pull. I'm not over the moon about it, obviously, like I would be if it was like a bellower or something, but I think I am excited. He's someone to add to the roster that's going to contribute, that's going to get used. He's not another. Fucking Panthera or Skeleton. Um, so wait, no. Total Void Shards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've pulled eight Void Shards on the account total right now. I forgot about the Vault. Eight Void Shards total. Four of them. 
<laughs> have been a champ and their copy. That's that's rough, man. That is not that is not fun. It could be it could be there could be so much more stuff going on in the account right now if we could stop pulling dupes, bro. Uh, but it is what it is. No use dwelling on it, and we did get someone usable out of it. And I think the speed lead particularly is going to be handy. Well, I I don't know what his farming capability is going to be. I reckon I'm going to need to try to get him on live steel if I'm going to want to try to farm with him. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't get to three turn. I just assume that when a skill needs that many books, it's it's for a cooldown. Uh, no, this, so this stays on four turn actually. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, 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 I'm sorry. I swear I clicked that, bro. I swear I clicked it. All right, this is the AOE. It does get to three turns. This doesn't get a cooldown. Okay. That's fine. 65% is I'm already okay with too. The damage will be nice, I guess. Who else am I planning on booking right now? No one really. I don't. If I want to book him, I'll probably grind out copies because because rare books do kind of slow down, I think, as well. So I don't want to be too liberal with my rare book usage. You know what I mean? Uh, Panthera needs a lot of books. This I don't give a shit about. I don't care about three percent turn meter knockback. That is not worth eight books. Uh, I wouldn't hate getting this to 100%, but I think 85% is sufficient. The cooldowns here would be handy, but I don't think it's worth the risk of investing right now. And then her, I don't... I mean, the A2, she might be worth some books when we decide we want to build her up and start playing with her a little bit. But he will he will certainly be worth the books. I just wish he didn't need so many books. God. But there's no one else really to give them to right now. And I think that's probably our last Void Shard for a minute. Right? Unless one pops up from an event we can get. I think it's going to be a minute before we get access to it. We're not getting another one from the dungeon challenges. I don't remember if there's another one in here somewhere. But either way, it's going to be a minute because these are going to start to scale up and take a little bit longer to complete. There's none in the missions, which was a surprise to me. Um, so there's not one coming from there. We're not going to get one from Clan Boss because I don't think they even start dropping from Clan Boss until Brutal. I don't think they drop from hard. They can drop from hard. They can drop from normal? Nuh-uh. No, they can't. Has anybody ever gotten a void shard from a normal clan boss chest? I don't know if I believe that. I guess it's gotta be technically true, but I don't think I've ever had that happen. So I guess we, uh, at some point when we start to be able to do top chest, I guess there's small potential, but it seems very unlikely. So like, anyway, my, my, my point is, I don't think there's another Void Shard on the horizon anytime soon. So I reckon it's okay to go ahead and just give Ash Walker these books. Because there's no one else I'm gonna need to book for a while. Our next guaranteed Void Shard is uh, at, at 29 days in, so. Looks like we get two a month for a while. Then it drops to one. Okay. Okay. All right. So today on the agenda, I'm probably gonna book him and I'm gonna start leveling him up. I think I've got I mean, I've technically got five star food ready. I, I, I may, since I'm not really close to, to fusing him, 
I may just go ahead and use her as a chicken and go get another one of her when I'm ready to really focus him. I'd rather just go ahead and build who I currently have and am using. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think that's probably the move. So by the next video, Ash Walker will probably be five starred. And then we'll see, we'll see what we're working with from there. All right. So that's it. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up today. Appreciate you guys watching. If y'all have void shards coming in, I hope you have good luck with them. Um, I think I'm going to let these pile up for a little bit now. So that when we get to a point, if, if there's ever a fusion or something that we can participate in, whether it be that there's uh, some new void epic that's a part of it, or maybe they do avoid fusion again at some point, we want to make sure we have the shards to participate in that. And there's really no excuse for us not to, right? We don't need, we don't need to use these shards ever. <laughs> so um, we probably just will start letting these pile up and... We'll see what happens when we get our next. We'll see what things look like when we get our next um, void shard. All right, so that's it. I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow.